guys, welcome back to For Heat, Who is Mighty? This is a day in my life. Um, this is what I do in the morning, get ready, and then I go straight to my computer. I do school at home right now because of quarantine, so it's a lot of Zoom and a lot of activities online, um, but it's a fun time. So I want to talk to you guys about my anxiety because I think school definitely triggers my anxiety. Of course I have to have a cup of coffee before anything, but... That's me making a little latte, cappuccino type. Um, check out our espresso video. But anyway, so anxiety definitely gets triggered by school. Um, going through undergrad, I experienced a lot of anxiety. Even growing up, um, my anxiety stemmed a lot from my family. So I just thought anxiety was normal. Um, but now that I'm back in school, I just want to share with you guys how it is. Now that I'm back in school, um, I've grown a lot and I have learned how to manage my anxiety, um, but now that I have a lot of exams, I have presentations, I have a lot of things to do, my number one thing that I ch helps prevent my anxiety throughout the day is I read my Bible. I start my day um, every day with reading my Bible and I think that's a huge part of why I can go throughout my day with that anxiety because I am grounded and I start my day with God. Like I I learn from his word, I learn what he has to say to me. Um, I'm going through the book of Proverbs and a verse that I want to share with you guys is in chapter 12, verse 25. And it says, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Um, this is important because I think encouragement comes a long way and um, I definitely get encouraged by my friends. Um, I get encouraged by David and so that's a huge component of combating anxiety throughout my day. This is me having a conversation with David. Um, I also listen to a lot of worship so while I'm doing my work I put on worship and I'm singing to the Lord while I'm doing my work. Um, that really focuses me me on why I'm even in school, why am I even doing these assignments, why am I even studying, um, because it, I can easily get overwhelmed by having my grades be my top priority, having um, the material that I'm learning be my main focus, but when I put God first, I put worship, I read my Bible, I'm reminded by David every day that my worth is in the Lord, um, that puts everything else into a different perspective of my career, my success, everything I'm doing is for the Lord. This degree I'm working on, my master's degree, is for the Lord. I'm not doing it for my own glory, not to exalt myself and be like, look at me. It's, I want to use my skills, my knowledge that I'm learning right now for God's glory in the future. And I know God will. And sometimes it's so easy to get consumed by, whoa, I have so many exams, like, whoa, I have all this to do. and. It's so easy to get involved or get overwhelmed by it, but I have found that God is my number one that helps me relieve my anxiety and helps me stay focused. Um, I, this is what my life looks like. I'm cooking, but I'm also doing my work at the same time because multitasking, but um, one thing that I like to do also to relieve anxiety besides reading my Bible and staying connected to Jesus is running. Um, I love to run because of the like happy feelings that makes me feel at the end. It sucks in the moment because I'm like dying, but um, afterwards I feel accomplished. I feel good. Scientifically and physiologically, your body does release happy um, endorphins, happy neurotransmitters. And in your brain, there's a literal chemical reaction happening where you're, like, it makes you joyful and it makes you happy. That's backed up by science. Just wanted to let you know. But anyways, um, running is definitely one of those that really helps me with my anxiety. Um, another is just being with my family. My family, it's a, I can talk more about my family and the different aspects of how it triggers my anxiety but recently because I live with David and I don't live with my family anymore that's David being silly 
Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember what he was telling me, but there he is. I think he was doing laundry. Uh, <laughs> so what I was saying is like family to me now is something that's so sweet and joyful to me. So I, the other day I was having kind of a mini anxiety attack and David's response was to hug me and was like, hey, let's go get lunch with your parents. And he took me to go get lunch with my parents and that really helped me. Um, and I really felt encouraged by it and I felt rejuvenated by it. So there's different things that you can do that will help your anxiety. Another one is planning. That's my planner. Um, I love to plan every single thing out because I think it puts it into perspective that I can get the things that I need to get done, done. Like I literally will time from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I'm doing this. From 2 to 2.30, I'll take a break. From 2.30 to 3.30, I'll do this. Um, and that really helps me be structured and not feel overwhelmed because I think a huge part of anxiety is feeling overwhelmed like you can't do it um, but once you put it into perspective of okay if I time this out and I stick to the schedule I can do it so that's the end of the video and of our day um, but I just hope you guys feel encouraged by what I do I hope that you use them and you try them out like try going for a run take your time like, you don't have to go fast. Just take your time in running. Put on some worship music. Listen to some songs that you really enjoy. And talk to God while you're running. It's so funny because the other day I went for a run because I was feeling so overwhelmed. I have three exams this week, you guys. So I, like, have a lot to memorize and I have a lot to learn. Um, and one of, two of the exams cover respiratory system. And as I was running, I was telling David, I was like, is it weird that I'm thinking about my alveoli and ventilation and perfusion and diffusion and VQ mismatch and all these things that I'm learning or that I have to memorize while I'm running because I could feel my breath just being overly done. Like I was, I was kind of dying because running right now is not my forte because I'm out of shape. But that's a whole nother story. But I was just telling David like, Everything I was learning behind the screen, I'm putting into practice right now as I'm running because it's, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, that's where my mind was going. But it kind of relieved my stress and, I, and my anxiety and I was like, this is the way God created us. I'm going to learn this for God's glory. I'm going to learn this because God created us this way and one day I'm going to apply this to the patience I will have one day and I will apply this to glorify God to my patients one day and um, yeah it's just doing little things guys don't don't sit in your anxiety don't let it take over your anxiety because if you don't let it take over your no don't let it take over your life um, because if you do that's when I don't know I've been there don't get there please like it, it really sucks so I hope you guys use these I'll pray for anybody who struggles with anxiety watching this because I know it sucks um, but stay connected to the Lord. That's the number one thing that I can tell you. And yeah, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you later. Bye.